eyeshadow palette favorites. I have quite a bit of eyeshadow palettes. I don't use them all, but I do have a lot that are my favorite ones that I find myself going and grabbing all of the time. So we have just a few. <laughs> just a few. And I thought it would be fun just to kind of look through them and see what they're all about. I personally really like to watch other people's videos of makeup collection or eyeshadow palette collection, things like that. I find it fun um, and just interesting. And then I'm like, oh, I need that palette that they're using. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's bad. But let's just take a look and do kind of a little sit down, hang out, and look at some eyeshadow palettes on this lovely Sunday. Now tomorrow will be another role play. I'm thinking like a sleep inducing haircut or something along those lines. So stay tuned for that. And oh, look at this nail polish. How pretty is this? I love them. Um, they're super glitzy and glittery. You know, I love all things glitter and glam. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm super excited. These are just my natural nails with gel. Gel, gel, gel. I'll go back to the long acrylic soon. But literally, the last time that I had these acrylics taken off, my nails were so thin that they were literally just like falling apart. I can't even explain it. I've never seen anything like it in my life. So that was terrible. They just need to get strong again. And then, long nail diamond is back. <laughs> so let's just jump in and take a look at these. I love this one right here. This is the... Kimmy Butterflies by ColourPop, and it has the cutest little butterfly um, design and packaging, and cute names too. Some of them are You're a Catch, Woke, Winged, Get Lost, Glider, Skipper, Bloomin', just some nice, really cute names. And oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> let's take a look inside and see. Stunning that is. So I use this one a lot. This is the You're a Catch. I use that one a lot. And the Get Lost Pressed Pigment or the Pressed Glitter, whatever it's called. I really, really love those ones. But I find that me personally, I like a lot of pinks and mauves and like colors like that on my eyes. So I think that's why I really like this palette. And I think ColourPop has wonderful eyeshadows. I really like them a lot. But you know what? If you've tried the ColourPop eyeshadows, if you've tried this Super Shock, for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, let me know if you've tried them and you like them. But I have not had one good experience with the Super Shock shadows. I've bought so many, probably 15 or 20, None of them ever look good. I just feel like there's no color payoff whatsoever. And I swear, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't stand it. So I'll buy them. I'll try them like once or twice, swatch it, nothing there. So I'm just like, all right, toss it in the trash. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so this is the Gimme Butterflies and I wear this one all of the time, especially this shade right here and this shade. I've used them tons of times to do a winged liner. Gimme butterflies. That's that one. Next is another ColourPop one. We have a couple ColourPops. Then we go into the Huda Beauty and then Morphe's on bottom. But Morphe is what I use the most. This is the ColourPop Lovebird. Lovebird. Lovebird palette. Goes really nice with my nails. Check that shade names. Some of them are Flower Boy, Sing a Song, Indio, On, on a Lark, uh, Side Chick, Island Hoppin. Some really cute names. And I love how it's like a pink, uh, pink peacock kind of print. Whoa, so pretty. This peacocky one right here, I absolutely love. I wear that one all the time, if you can't tell. And then the other ones that I wear a lot is the one 
next to it and these two pressed pigments look at that I love this one I just wore it last night actually and the on a lark is really cute because it has that shimmer in it that I love it's so pretty and then I don't use this glitter very much right there I have a couple of times but I don't know why it just seems like I don't really use that one Yeah, very pretty. It is similar, if you can tell. I just love these pink shades because it is pretty similar to this other one we just looked at. I swear they just take the same shades and put them in different palettes. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But low-key, though, I did see some that are the exact same. I'll show you later. Um, so yeah, and it's really cute. It says ColourPop there. last year. They probably do. Now, this one is, oh, I love it. I think you're really gonna like this one too if you like glittery stuff. This one is the Pressed Glitters and it is just a palette with only the glitters in it. So you have this super cute goldish looking um, top and then watch this.
there's no shade names, but it looks like this. It is absolutely stunning for summer. It's my favorite palette to use in the summer. We have these bright pinks and oranges. You honestly can't even tell that I've used any of these. They look like it's brand new. It's not. I've used them so many times and it never looks like there's any product gone. So that is what I like about Huda Beauty. I feel like the palettes last quite some time, at least in my experience. Very pretty purple right there. This green is to die for. Oh my gosh. And yeah, they're all just stunning. Like, let's swatch this orange. Look at that. It's just so reflective and pretty. So yes, this is the orange one. Now, I also have the pink one and the green one. Here is the pink. It kind of, well, I guess it looks pink. I was going to say it kind of looks orange. You can't really tell. This one's orange. This one's pink. And let's see how this looks inside. Oh, back to those pinks and purples. You know me. This is stunning for me. For me, this is all I need in a palette right here. We have one, two, three, four shimmery shades and five regular. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, four and five. So pretty. Look at that. Do you see how beautiful those are? I love them. And again, I've used this palette many, many times. It looks like it's brand new still. So, Huda Beauty has it with that. I definitely will say that. And then let's take a look at the green one. This is the green one. You can obviously tell that's green. Same raised packaging. They all have the same packaging, just different colors. But look, this one is beautiful. I've used this one much more. That broke again. Do you want to know something weird? I swear to God, this is the same freaking color that broke out of the nude palette. Tell me that's not the same color. Is that not the same freaking color that broke? Tell me. I mean, no, nah, it's the same color. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's probably not, but to me, it looks like it is. What's wrong with that formula? But pretty pink. This white is what I used in my eyeshadow or my makeup video that I did the other day. It's white, but it reflects green, which I think is very beautiful. Wipe that off. And then you have the neon greens here with a sparkle and just those pinkish purple shades right there. Very pretty. Actually, this is more bluish purple depending on the way you look at it. I love this palette. I've used it so much just like the other ones. And here we are still looking brand spanking new. Let's see what else. Now we have this palette that a friend of mine sent me. She's awesome. Her name's Gabby. And this is from Hip Dot. And it's the Hip Dot X SpongeBob palette. Have you seen this one? Oh my gosh. What I will say is I've only used a few shades on this palette. This is how they look. They are awesome. These blues are beautiful. I've used those. I've used honestly most of them. I think the only one that I haven't used might be that one, the deep sea blue. And maybe this yellow doesn't look used, but these last a while because I've used a couple of them multiple times and still they look new. I love that in palettes when you can use them, use them, use them, use them. And you're still like, oh, have I ever used that shade before? <laughs> but listen to some of the names. They're so awesome. We have Tree Dome, Bikini Bottom Blue, Best Shade Ever, Wombo, <laughs> Wombo, Penny Pincher, Mr. Krabs, Coral Floral, Angry Tentacles, Imagination. I know you know. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. That's got to be Gary. <laughs> Jumpin' Jellyfish. Rock bottom, deep sea blue. 
first. I guess we'll first take a look at this one. This is the 35G Bronze Goals. Now, not gonna lie, they might look a little messy, so I apologize, but I do use them literally every single day. So this is how it looks. It has just a ton of browns and like neutrals, which it's not often that I use those types of colors, but every once in a while I'll use like one of these shades as a base or to like darken something up. But you guys know me, I'm more of like a all color, not neutral. <laughs> but it is very pretty, it has stunning shades like that pink one there. And some of them I've never used. This one I've never used. That one I've never used. Never used these two. Couple of them. And I don't know why, I just feel like those aren't my colors that I'm gonna pick. So, really, I don't even know why I have this in here as one of my favorites because it's not, so let's just put it away. <laughs> but this one, this is the 35M Boss Mood Palette. Oh, if you don't have it, you need it. Look at this beautiful square packaging. And let's see how it looks inside. Oh my gosh, yes, look at that. This is the best palette that I've ever had. I literally mean that because these shades are so beautiful. There's one other one that's in close competition with this one. This black right here is the color that I use to do my brows. I spray my angled brush with some setting spray or rose water. Dip, 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 dip. And then it's like a pomade, literally. Um, so I love that black. These red sparklies are so pretty. These purples, I use them a lot. The greens, once in a while, I use. And then, I don't know, I just like how there's a matte shade and then there's a sparkle to complement it. Like, all of them have a matte color and a sparkle that would look good with it. So we have, like, this orange here and the sparkle. That orange, the sparkle. Greens, sparkles. I love that. I think they executed this palette perfectly for me. <laughs> and then it's really pretty base color right here. Look at that. Look at that color payoff, though. I barely have to touch it. And let's swatch one more. Let's do this pretty purple right here. Like, what? What? That's amazing. Bye. So this is the 35G, no, 35M Boss Mood Palette. Moving on to the next Morphe palette here, we have the 35H Hotspot Palette. And I like this one a lot, too. I know that for a fact. Let's take a look. Very pretty. However, this side over, I never use. I've used them a couple of times, like these blues, but blue just does not look good really on me. Um, depends if I'm doing like a certain role play where I do blue makeup, but I'm not gonna wear it as an everyday. And this side is the side that I use, the pinks and the pretty like bronze shimmery ones. This pretty color right here I like. This brown I used to use for my brows. So if I don't do them black, I do them this really dark brown. And, oh, this shade is good for a base color. And then just the reds are so beautiful. But I've never touched this one, never touched this one. Looks like, never touched this one. But the rest look like I've at least touched them once or twice. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's very pretty. Just these colors are really just not my thing. Just depends on the day. These, yes. So yeah, that is the 35H Hotspot. And let me know if you have any of these palettes that I'm using and what your colors are or what colors you like to wear on your eyes. And we have two more and that's it. This one is a classic. I remember when they released it, I had to have it. And this is the 35B um, Color Burst Palette. Do, do you know what this is? <laughs> a classic. Hello, it's me. I love this. These, I don't think there's one color that I haven't used on this palette. I've used the yellows, the reds, the oranges, the greens. I've even used these blues. And I think it's one of the best palettes that I've ever seen in my life. 
or 